Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Dimio Overview. Honestly, I can't even contain my excitement for this one. This is so up my alley. Turn-based, strategy, fantasy, tabletop, like everything that I love in gaming is pretty much here in this game. Essentially, when I saw the trailer for the first time, I mean, to me, it was like an instant hit. It's been a very long time with VR for me in general that I had that motion. I feel like with just recent releases that we're getting, it's all about shooters with games like not many adventure or fantasy, just like turn-based stuff like that you know maybe it's like way harder to develop rather than just some average shooter it takes a little bit of creativity but maybe this genre won't be like very popular or something maybe that's what's happening but i feel like the mirror is gonna be a very good test to see if people actually crave games like that first things first dimia is a turn-based strategy tabletop game where you still designate heroes on the board to fight with monsters around them it's essentially a genre that you would play with paper and pen with your people and create a campaigns or adventures adventures to go through. Whether it's in a style of Dungeons and Dragons or Warhammer, these kind of tabletops usually are hard to do since there's a lot of moving parts and there's not much going on because in real life it just sucks. We don't have moving fireworks or fireballs flying around the board. But in Dimia essentially everything comes alive. You can play it in single player but the focus of the game is gonna be mostly on co-op mode where you team up with friends or strangers to go through the dungeons filled with monsters, chest, magic, just everything fantasy. Now even though I didn't play the game yet. For some reason I can already tell that it's very fun. Just seeing the special effects from the spells and the animations is just so cool because normally in real life nothing would be happening but here it's kind of like a dream come true for tabletop players. Now I had a lot to say about this if it comes to the mechanics, classes, just everything that's involved with the technical stuff. I'm not gonna mention it in this intro because I did pretty much a separate video of it. Kind of like a rundown and thoughts about the core gameplay. But I remember when I tried out Catan VR for the first time, I was very much surprised how well tabletop games kinda translate into the virtual reality. It's almost like a perfect setting for social gatherings or just meeting new people. Because the environment and the gameplay is like chill or subdued in a grand scheme of things, it's very easy to concentrate on what's going on around you, unlike in shooters or more chaotic games. Here's kinda like you care actually who you spend time with and like you would just hang with people in the actual room. Just the feeling of it is very like intriguing to me. Now I would be pissed if this game will fail so I'm not gonna waste more time and let's get into it. Welcome to the Elven Acropolis of Helmar. Deep inside these unhallowed catacombs, the mad Elven King lies locked in his golden sarcophagus, his spirit trapped between this world and the next. In a desperate bid for immortality, the King made a terrible pact with the outer darkness, bringing certain doom on himself and his loyal subjects. Now, their spirits, too, have been forever sealed in sarcophagi scattered across the necropolis, and their plight has caused vile corruption to seep into the surrounding lands. To save the realm, you must find and set their spirits free, and vanquish any foul fiends standing in your way. Yes, let's go! <laughs> I wonder if you're gonna throw me instantly into the okay. tutorial. Welcome to Demia. Oh, hello! The necropolis is filled with treasures, dangers, and horrors. I'll teach you how to face them all. Please? We'll start with the basics. Oh my god. Point at the OK button with your hands and press the trigger with your index finger to continue. Okay. First, you need to know how to move around in the catacombs. We'll start with one-handed movement. Press and hold the grip button on your right or left controller. Keep the button pressed and move your hand to drag yourself around. Got it. Now, we'll try moving around with both hands. Let's try to zoom in and out. Press and hold both grip buttons. While holding both buttons, move your hands apart to zoom in and put them together. Whoa, the scale! Now, for the last step, I'll teleport you back some. Just keep looking forward and press OK. Oh, this is cool. Like adjusting the scale of the board and ward. Mm-hmm. Love it. And for just seeing the details in the map. Oh, yes. Okay, so teleport me. Abracadabra. Now, keep looking forward and press and hold both grip buttons on your controllers. Rotate your hands clockwise to turn to... Excellent. Okay. Dragging, rotating, and zooming to find a good viewing angle is vital to this game. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay. Time to play. 
Move around until you have a good view of your champion, and then we'll continue deeper into the crypt. Here we go. Let's look at how to move your champion around. The highlighted tiles show how far you can move. Okay. Pick up your champion by pointing at it and pressing and holding the index trigger. Drop your champion on this tile by moving it there and releasing the index trigger. So we have tiles, they are separated. Okay, so it's not like you have complete freedom. It is actually some kind of grid. I wonder if in the options we'll be able to turn it on just to see clarification. Each move with your champion counts as one action mm -hmm. and costs one action point. Interacting with certain objects in the levels, such as doors, will move your champion to it and count as an action. Okay. Pick up your champion again. Place them on the door to open it. On the, the door. on the ground shows where your champion will land. Okay, so actually on the door, not like next to it. Got it. Knock, knock. Since that was your second action, you're now out of action points. Okay. You have two action points each turn. You can check how many you've left on your right wrist. Oh, this is gonna be the turn order on the whole battlefield I am assuming. Now, it's the enemy's turn. Enemy. Don't hit me. Ouch! Enemies can deal damage to your champion when they get close and attack. Uh -huh. Hover over a champion or enemy to display their health. You can see that you took one damage from that rat. Time for some payback. Attack the rat by placing your champion on top of it. Can I pick him up? Oh, attack one, movement four, statistic, a bit. oh yes. See, I love the clarification. Just like knowing what enemies do and just like concrete numbers is the key to me. To attack, I just drag it on pick it. and throw the die with your index trigger. Index trigger. Good job. The die has three different faces. A sword means a Yeah, we know nice. already. Let's move on. Open the next door. I wanna see the... Oh, oh. I don't fear the Ambush. An enemy was hiding in the shadows. Oh, wow. Like in the wall? Okay. You have been poisoned from its attack. Whenever you are hit by a status effect, an Ike will appear above your champion. Attack the enemy. Now. What well, statistic? Have beat this puzzle bite, immunity is panic. Okay. Remember, you throw the die by first picking it up with your index finger and then release as you throw. So this is K12. <laughs> there are no crits and no misses. Okay. Maybe it's gonna be different, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm pretty sure it's just that. Not quite enough to defeat it. Have another go. Okay, so we can twice attack or twice move. So any action basically. And we can attack it from the side we want. Well done. But you're getting low on health. We should find a way to restore it. There's like a poison count. Okay, so it's not like permanent. Glowing markers indicate POIs, points of interest. Often worth investigating. Move over here to reveal these POIs. This is a chest. It contains useful cards. Open the chest by dropping your champion on top. There you go. Take a closer look at your new card. The description tells you what it does. The action points icon at the top of the card mm, like tells that. you how many actions are needed to play it. Zero for the hurling point. Okay, that's fair. Grab the card with your index to drop the card on your champion. Nice. That should keep you alive a bit longer. I hope. Apparently, quest version should have lesser graphics, like from the PC VR version, but I don't see the notice, at least so far. Like, everything is very much detailed. Since you only have one action point left, you can't reach it this time. Open the next chest instead. I mean, I would back off. Wait, does enemies have two action points as well? It's the monster's Stand. There you go. Now turn your wrist to see your card hand and your new card. Zap 
is a replenishable card. You can use it once, and then it will refresh for your next turn. Oh, okay. Stun? Hey, that's OP for a wizard. Pick up Zap and use it on the enemy. Drop the card on the goblin. Oh, wow. That's the wrench? <laughs> hmm. Pick up and throw the die with your index finger. Your Zap stunned the goblin. Now, use your second action point to do a melee attack. Oh, okay. Got it. Splat. When you vanquish enemies, you gain card energy. Check your card meter on the champion or in your card hat. Here. Defeating those enemies was enough to fill up the card meter, giving you a new class card. Oh. I'll join in with my champion now, just to give you a hand. A champion is down when their health reaches zero. Mm hmm. Revive your ally by placing your champion on top of them. Ah, oh, so we don't have like a revival spell for like a priest or whatever. Basically, just have to be close nearby. Okay. Crucial for surviving the necropolis. Take good care of them. That's actually very good to know. Mm -hmm. Healing fountains will replenish you and your allies' health. Might be useful in the upcoming fight. See the exit over there. You need a key to unlock it. Uh huh. Every game of Demio consists of three levels. In the first two, you need to find a key, and then the exit gate. In the last one, you must defeat the evil guardian protecting the sarcophagus of the mad elven king. Wait, three levels? I've heard of seven. All right. Enough with the handhold. Let's see what you've learned. This enemy holds the key. Yeah, we know. To defeat the enemy to obtain the key. I'm in a range of everything, but I should just attack everyone. This is just one damage, so I can't really do anything with that. One, four. Okay, so I have to kill this one first. What I'm gonna do from this side. Because he has high damage. Which means monster attack. Oh, I moved and attack, I think, right? Wait, let me try again. Move. Attack. No, huh, weird. So, I had just one action left, I guess, last turn. I didn't notice. Freeze your enemy sword. Yeah, sure. You're ready to face whatever the elven necropolis can throw at you. Will yes. You prove strong enough to defeat the corrupted behemoth awaiting you at the end. I guess we'll see. Finish the tutorial by placing your champion on the exit. So I want to replenish the health. I'm just going here. Okay, and it's one time use. Okay. Ah, lovely. What are those rewards actually? I can't click it, but I don't know exactly. Cubes or whatever. There are a lot of levels. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> skins, face plates. Oh, we can have different skins for the characters. Yes. Oh, so I'm pretty sure this is the unlockable thing. I think we'll have more characters because there's more space. There's lists. So, hmm? teaser, teaser. Base plate. Oh, we can change the base speed? And we can change dice. Yeah, this game. Okay, settings game. I want to see the grid. Language. Okay, I don't see the option to turn on grid. In the future, I would love to because I want to see every kind of tile. Maybe like a little bit transparent or like just with more details because that way it's just more clear where you can actually go and stuff. Let's just go into the multiplayer, right? This is what it's all about. Hi. Okay. Oh, we can choose multiple champions of the same kind? I didn't know that. Yeah, I know, right? Because I thought every person would be blocked to one unique one so do we have a tank or no we don't have a tank okay so i can try it then okay. i don't know its skills but it shouldn't be that hard <laughs> the elven necropolis welcomes you with a dry whiff oh my God. and decay do you have the strength to seek out and destroy the keeper oh, look, there's some money only then will the trapped elven spirit be set free so i go first yeah you have like a torn system on your right okay. hand oh, yes i am i'm gonna go up 
Ooh, found a found a you. Wow. <laughs> And you find enemies. <laughs> oh my god, more enemies. What the <laughs> The tank shouldn't go first. <laughs> Wait, did you not block me from the way? Wait a minute. Okay, I can pass you, okay. You can try killing enemy if you want. I mean, I won't have the movement point for it, so I'm just gonna stand here. What the hell was that? I see, you can't go in the web. Try and slime. Oh, I have a shield, okay. Good that I stand here. Or not. Okay, I go. Oh, I can I'm gonna reach a poison bomb. We have a fountain just next to us, just in case, so we're not that fucked. Yeah. Here I go. Hi guys! Hi! You are two assassins? Yeah! Okay. But that's fine. And there, there, there is too many enemies. Which level is this? There we go. Go close to us and just <laughs> fireball them or something because we're like here. Yeah, I have a fireball, so I can try it. Yeah, we'll see. Wait, what is this? Is it spawning something? Where? This purple thing. I am ready. Damn, we almost got it. Kill the giant slime first. We gotta get that out of here. Okay, I think I have this. Oh, we got meat now? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Fuck you, fiends. And the slider up. Nice. Ooh, we killed one. Yes, and I'll repair the armor because just in case. Wait, Ooh, what is this green ball? I think this. No, no, I think it's a bomb. <laughs> Where this will be activated? Can I get close to it? Don't touch it. <laughs> okay, I will try get close, but don't touch. Okay, and I'm in range or not? I'm not in range with the fireball. You can move. You can move. You can't fire it through the wall. Oh, you can't oh. attack it. Nice. Uh, it's a hit. Who is dead now? Damn fight. Well, right. This will be fun if this one will explode. Oh, my enemies are coming. We're fine, I think. They move, they keep getting more poison. Yeah, I don't know from what this oh, poison no, happened. Guy. That's me, I put it there so they can get poison every time they Oh, my, oh god. my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I revive you. Yes, and then you have a Fante just give next you. to me. Oh, I can give you a healing potion. No, 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 don't waste it for now. I will repair armor. I'm gonna attack this rat that's next to you. Okay. Oh, damn, he has a lot of yeah, HP. Oh, we can destroy the spider egg. Nah, he's not. Oh, critical! Nice. Oh, almost killed it. Yeah, yeah, close and jump. It's dead. Yeah. A sweet kiss. Okay, no, mate, what me. are you gonna do? So, it's fireball it's time. Thing. Woo, don't hit us. Can you actually hit try. us? I don't know. We're good now. <laughs> There's a giant spider, but I want to get that archer out of the way. I will try to block okay. the spider and you, y'all just finish the little ones. Probably. No more. Alright. Knock it down. Whoa, more enemies down. And I don't have any uh, more fire firewall. That's fine. I have AoE as well. Just in case. Okay. Check this guy. I'm gonna kill this rat. I don't know if you just didn't make an opening for yourself here. Tak jestli bavili avatary, si mi zvolím ty oči. Co jsi dělal? Wait, what? Oh, was it a miss? Or oh, the gas bomb. Oh no, okay. Oh, nice, all poison. Oh, there's some money down there. For coins. 
I think. Oh no. Nothing. Well, I can't go down for okay, sure because there's so poison. I can do this. What to do? Any ideas? I mean, it's whatever because we're not gonna die anyway, so we'll just pick up this key from the spider and then I think we'll split to take chest and money. One person goes okay. up and then on the side or something. I think it should be pairs of two, that way if we want to start by. Yeah, just two and two will be fine. And then we can reconnect like halfway, I see. Oh, <laughs> we didn't know that. Yeah, there is more enemy. Which you? Oh, crit. Nice. You just killed all no, of them. No, no, nice. enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're poisoned. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh. No! I think the wizard should pick up the fountain next to him in his turn. Oh, we might get another card. There we go. So I'll just block him. They cannot break my This armor is OP actually. <laughs> Next to the mage, I think the slime left I something. Know. Yeah, yeah there was slime. slime. Just avoid it, I oh, guess. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I think you can heal from poison. Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, you all us. So I shoot through the stairs? I think, yeah. I'm interested in it, it, this will be will work or it will be it will be broke. Okay, it's work. Okay. Oh no, the thing over here. No. Oh, oh this no, the other dry spider is coming. What the fuck, more poison? <laughs> Oh damn, you're far. This spider has six attack. It's almost one shotting you. No, we have against the TV is a card in the moment. Oh no. Oh no. A miss. <laughs> oh you can hit yourself uh, with a miss? That's crazy. No, you a miss. Point five. Oh, a crit. Okay. Nice. Overkill. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you attack him from the back, you do more damage. I don't want to go to the poison, but I'll just finish this off. Yes! Oh, nice. I yeah. think I'll just help you, I guess. Oh, what's this blue thing? Attack it and you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I have to turn for this giant spider because it's too tanky for him, so this just poison has to go away from the stairs. Oh, it says on the gate that we need to defeat nearby enemies, so we can't like escape through the exit fast like that. I didn't yeah. know that. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. I just uh oh, oh, you're getting much. <laughs> oh my god. No oh, way. yes. <laughs> Oh no, the poison got bigger! Oh, we have to no, go out no, from right? here. Well, someone is tanking here. The tank is behind all three. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a typical... It's, it, it's typical game, eh? <laughs> I trust my armor to protect me. And uh, I'll start moving here. Oh. Okay, poison oh, does not no. penetrate through the armor. That's good to know. Yeah, backstab with a wand. <laughs> Oh, 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 crit? Oh, okay. I didn't do much. I'm more like a uh, monk that uh, sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, punch oh, this. There we go. And one more time. 
Hopefully. That's very handy for you that you have backstabbing. Hey. Oh, the other one can't hit us. What the? Yeah, that's aim to reverse. It, well, oh, my god. oh my god. Oh, do not destroy that spider nest, I swear to god. Yeah, I think we oh, just critical. don't touch it and that's it. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll open the chest. Oh, we got teleportation. Oh, oh everyone get the card. It, it's good. Yeah, oh, wow. Card. I have like an elemental. It's like a common card for everyone. So we have an ally oh, just I in can case. Teleport any tile I want. Ready for battle. Oh, 100. That's good. Yeah, we destroyed the rat nest. It's going to keep spawning more. Should I turn top for the chest there or like point of interest and you free just destroy them? Will you be fine? <laughs> Do we want to take everything from the map and then exit or? Yeah, we, I want to take everything that's in the map. Okay, so I'll it start moving. Us. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like so big up there. Uh, that's fine. I have so an I armor, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, essentially, I'm the only person that can go there. <laughs> You'll be fine. I don't think there's gonna be like giant spiders anymore. Oh great, they couldn't attack us. Oh, the poison's all gone. Oh, well, thank God for me. We got 339. Oh great, you lucky. Okay, a chest. Okay, you are lucky. You are under <laughs> Oh, so in a mental? Okay, nice. So, where to go? I think take the money and oh, open the, the door. And that's not possible for me right now. Yeah, so just on your turn. What's here? Oil lamp, okay. And I'll do armor. Just in case. What do we have here? Oh my god. Well, that's fine. Wait, what's this? Goblin mad something. Okay. Can you shoot the gas lamp? With what? <laughs> a spear? Yeah, I'm ask asking you because I don't know. I never play warrior, so I don't know if you has any range attack. I, think, I have a card I for it, but no. Archer, you could have shot it. Try to kill that goblin. We don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Or not. Oh, beware for this goblin. He has six attack on the stairs. But you have a good position because you will go from behind if he will go for me. Oh, oh fuck me. Uh oh. Sorry guys. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, what, what the hell is it? happening? Oh, teleport! Oh, okay. It's teleport to you. I mean, that's fine actually. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that is fine, you will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have cards. I can't really do much, so I think I'll do this. I've summoned a man. Oh my god, a fire I think it's gonna suffice for me here. It's cool that you have a summon as well. It's like a card that everyone can get because it's like universal. Because yeah. you can get class cards and normal, I see. I'll be able to so hold them there. Oh my god. Oh, almost fine. Oh, okay. I think you should check the Elven Mystic. Or would you just... Oh, critical. Oh, it's a crit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no. Completely oh, destroyed. That was, that was overkill, man. Oh, the there's still a chest over here. I can just teleport there. Okay, well, we'll finish this, collect money, I think there's still one chest there and that's it for this level. I'm still wondering what's this purple tile. Can someone step on it to check? <laughs> no. Jesus, those crits. We did it! Oh, don't, please don't. Oh, my god. oh what the? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess that was convenient. Oh, wow. I didn't know it does that. So, it's one time damage. Okay. Just like poison, but it disappears. Oh, we got an archer now? Yeah. I didn't know you can randomly join the game like that. Even like in the end. I think I have nothing to do. Just, yeah, just move with me. Assassin has the key, not me. So, he has to collect the ch chest and yeah. come back. Oh, wait. There's a priest oh, behind us. There is even skirmishing downstairs. Let's just collect anything and I think leave. Because they're gonna spawn uh -huh. constantly. Have an idea. I'll do that. Oh, there's more. This should stop. And I'll block the way. So we'll leave from the level, but I'll block the way just in case they wanna cross. That's a good barricade. <laughs> a human and wood one barricade. <laughs> go to the exit. Yeah. Let's go. 
Nice. <laughs> oh, I have healing as well as a guardian. Healing ward, behemoth. Damn, some fun okay, cards. Wait, okay, guys, well, I have to go. Thanks for playing. That's fun. Yeah, thanks, man. You know, I think there's not much to explain. Currently, for me, this is a contender for game of the year. Not even halfway through the year, but this is so good that I will play the shit out of it. I can't even, like, explain it. It's so fun to play with people, cooperate, and this RPG turn... Oh my god. You saw the gameplay, you saw my reactions. This game gets my official stamp approval that it's amazing. And can't wait to spam play it for you.